On this episode of Connections Cleveland, we'll explore the historic Playhouse Square in downtown and everything that it has to offer. So let's go check it out. Playhouse Square started as five historic theaters uh, that were built 1921 to 1922. So that is the Allen, the Connor Palace, the Hanna, the Key Bank State, um, and the Ohio that we're sitting in today. Um, so those theaters were built really within 19 months of each other, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. At the time, Cleveland was the fifth largest city in the country, and Euclid Avenue, where most of our theaters are located, was known at that time as Millionaire's Row. So people were definitely looking for entertainment options. Um, some of the theaters were built as vaudeville houses. Um, some of the theaters were built for traditional theater. And they operated um, for just over 40 years, pretty steadily. And then in the 1960s, people started moving downtown, out of downtown areas and into the suburbs. And the freeway system was built. And then shopping malls came along and then movie theaters in shopping malls came along. And slowly but surely, each theater closed as they were no longer being used. And they were boarded up and neglected. And one day, a young man was walking by and he was looking for a space to hold a large meeting for a group of teachers. And he came across the boarded up theaters and he thought, what well, this is just a shame. These theaters need to be saved and used. And so he rallied some friends to the cause, and this is Ray Shepherdson I'm talking about, of course, uh, and uh, they began to just get people excited about bringing people back downtown. And so uh, eventually what they did was they got the, uh, what is now the Key Bank State Lobby, cleaned up enough to um, hold performances there. And so they they picked a show that had been running at Cleveland State University. Uh, it was closing there. It was called Jacques Brel is Alive and Well and Living in Paris. And they decided to ask the director uh, to bring it from Cleveland State here to the Key Bank State Lobby. It was supposed to run for three weeks. It ended up running for over two years. And that was really the foundation of getting the theater saved because it proved that people would come back downtown for entertainment and it just set the whole project in motion of um, stopping the wrecking ball and making sure that the theaters would not become parking lots. And then eventually the business community came to support the idea. Um, they had the support of uh, Dennis Kucinich, um, they had the support of George Voinovich, um, and that was really instru instrumental. Once you had the business community and the politicians sort of come to the agreement that Playhouse Square was really important um, to save the theaters, then that sort of all galvanized together. And it, it, you know, it was really um, a lot of hard work. Uh, it's not something that we take for granted. We work hard every day to make sure that um, the theaters will be beautiful and preserved for future generations. The first th uh, theater to be renovated and reopened was this theater, the Ohio Theater, that opened in the summer of 1982. Then the Key Bank State came online in 1984, then the Connor Palace in 1988. Um, the Allen uh, was done in 1998, and then the Hanna reopened um, around that time, but the interesting thing is that it really wasn't um, renovated until 2008. So that's, that, um, aside from this lobby, that's the newest space to have been renovated. So we have small spaces uh, that seat roughly 100 people. So are, those are obviously going to be more intimate shows, um, maybe one person comedy or speaker series or really small shows for children. Um, then we have some larger theaters that seat 500 to 1,000. Um, our resident companies frequently make use of those. So we have six resident companies, uh, Cleveland Ballet, Cleveland Playhouse, Cleveland State University, Department of Theater and Dance, Dance Cleveland, Great Lakes Theater, and the Tri-C Jazz Fest. So those uh, 500 to 1,000 seat houses are perfect for their productions, um, for student productions, for um, children's shows. Most of our children's shows happen in the Ohio. 
Uh, the Connor Palace is home to most of our Key Bank Broadway series shows. And uh, then the Key Bank State is home to really large shows like Hamilton, like The Phantom of the Opera, like Wicked, shows that have really big sets, um, tend to play in the Key Bank State, and shows that will draw the largest audiences play that theater. The Allen, the Outcall, and the Helen are all part of what we call the Allen Complex. So the Allen was one of our five historic theaters. And it was renovated with the intention for large touring Broadway productions like I was just talking about. Um, at that time, shows like Phantom, Miss Saigon with the full helicopter, Disney's Lion King, those were going out on the road. And in the Key Bank State, we had the Cleveland Ballet that presented um, more performances than they do now. We also had the Cleveland Opera. So they were taking up much of the available time in the Key Bank State because they needed that big stage. So the Allen was renovated for these big Broadway shows. Well, right about, uh, right about that time, the, uh, the opera cut back on the number of their performances and the Cleveland Ballet had moved to San Jose. And so the Key Bank State became available for the big touring Broadway productions, and because it had more seats, it was more attractive. So the Allen was only being used about 60 nights a year for concerts and things like that. And in the meantime, Cleveland State was thinking about building their own performing arts center on campus. Cleveland Playhouse was about 80, 80 blocks east of us, and they were thinking about what to do with their um, complex because you know, it was very, uh, very much in need of repair. Their roof would sometimes leak. Um, it was very costly for them to maintain the space. So uh, our CEO, Art Falco, kind of got everybody together and said, hey, why don't we think about doing something collaboratively that would make sense for all of us? So the Allen was uh, reconfigured from about 2,800 seats to a 500 seat theater, which is much more appropriate for the Cleveland Playhouse. And then we built two new spaces, the Outcall and the Helen. The Outcall, depending on configuration, seats between two and 300. And then the Helen is a small black box, um, which is really good for very small student productions that CSU might want to put on. Um, and so at that, at that point, that was in 2011, that's when Cleveland Playhouse and Cleveland State became resident companies of Playhouse Square. So we at Playhouse Square see ourselves as the stewards of our neighborhood. And an interesting thing that not a lot of people know about Playhouse Square is the fact that we have a real estate services division. So not only do we operate the theaters, but we own and manage um, over a million square feet of real estate. And that is all here in the Playhouse Square district. And so we definitely feel that you know, we want this to be an exciting, welcoming, vibrant place for people to visit. So during the summer, we have a whole series of events out on US Bank Plaza, which is a space that we manage. And so we offer yoga and Tai Chi and dancing under the stars. And um, the North Union Farmers Market comes here once a week. And we have, um, just uh, movie, movie nights and lots of fun things for people to do. And again, it's all part of keeping Playhouse Square a vibrant neighborhood that people love to be a part of, whether they're visiting here or they work here or they're coming to see shows. For whatever reason, um, we want them to feel that excitement. Um, we feel a responsibility for you know, making this a very welcoming place. Um, it's one of the reasons that we undertook the Dazzle the District project in 2014, um, we really wanted to bring the beauty of the theaters outdoors so that everyone could experience it. And so that's why we hung a giant chandelier over Euclid Avenue and um, we put up beautiful gateways and other signage um, that would just really make this a unique and special place for people to visit. If I had to sum it up into one thing, Playhouse Square's main focus is the vibrancy of the Cleveland community. We are really 
part of making downtown Cleveland thrive and be a healthy community. So yes, the arts are at the core of that. That's at the core of what we do. But we have a lot of focus on economic development. We have a lot of focus on education. And those are all things that are part of creating a vibrant community. So, it, so if I had to boil it down, that's what I would boil it down to.